Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is about what to do as a motorcyclist if you encounter a horse on the road. Now, I'm doing this video because I uh, put a video up on my socials, link in the description below, and it was uh, a group of us where a, um, a couple of horses were passing us and we pulled over, turned our engines off, and uh, just watched the beautiful horses go past, didn't want to spook them. And the amount of love I got from that video, the amount of people reaching out saying thank you so much, like genuine heartfelt thanks for stopping and letting the those beautiful animals just, you know, go about their business was outstanding. And so it got me thinking about horses and bikes in general because they sneak up on you literally you'll be riding along and all of a sudden you see a horse and i've been riding over eight years i probably encounter about three to five horses a year so not a lot but every time i do i'm like oh crap a horse what do i do what do i do and that's why i'm making this video so hopefully when you encounter a horse you'll think to this video and think to the options available to you to start with the obvious comments that I picked up and that is is it legal for horses to be on the road god yes roads were made for horses for Christ's sake I mean horses are allowed on the roads of course things have moved on since that back then I'm on the modern steed here but yes it's very much legal for horses to be on the road why should a sketchy horse who can't be controlled be allowed on the road well uh, this one i want to address i'm not going to address all of them i'm going to end with this why would a sketchy animal be allowed on the road well they're not all sketchy you might do something that can create a situation that makes that animal want to do something that just scares it a little and so this video is to hopefully mitigate that. One thing to bear in mind, horse riders love their horses more than anything in the world. They would give their lives for their horses, believe me. So they would not do anything to put those horses in undue stress, risk or danger. And on a side note, it's quite amusing the negative uh, comments against the horses are very similar to the comments that cars give car drivers you know you have an entitlement on the road you shouldn't be on there you're a hazard blah 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 so there are five ways to go past a horse one you just completely disregard the horse and be a horrible human being but I'm going to take that the fact that you're on my channel here that you're not that kind of person so one way is to go past kill your engine and just coast on past now that's the way I thought was the best way to go past but speaking to the horse community that actually should be discouraged and you'll get to that later in the video as to why the third way is just go past at a nice slow speed with no revs the fourth way is the same as the third but you just pull in your clutch and the fifth way is the way that all horse people absolutely love and if you can do it they would love you forever and that is you just pull over when it's safe to do so you just kill your engine and you just watch those beautiful horses go past A good telltale to know if you are somewhere where horses frequent then a sign is usually what to look for see there a sign for a deer you'll see a similar one for a horse this is where you're more than likely going to encounter a horse now if you counter them on a narrow country road that's cool because your speed is already low but if you're on a 60 mile an hour road like this one then that's where you just need to be quick and have a bit of experience which hopefully this video will give you so nothing behind me at the moment let's say I, I spot a horse here to my left around this crest first thing I want to do I've come off the accelerator here to blah 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 now I'm far enough away that that wasn't a problem but if I was close and they sprung up on me I'd want to roll off a bit more gentle to stop that and I just slow down to an acceptable pace and then if they're here on my left I would hang back waiting for an opportunity to pass them like you would a bike or anything else now on slower 
narrow roads like this things then become a lot easier in that you are already running at slower speeds however you will be passing the animal at a closer distance so that's where if the animal was say here the tree on my left i would go past just coast by you give them a little nod you wait till you're a good 10 meters in front of them before you roll back on and then start going about your journey so let's go through by the numbers then the first one the one i believe that horsey people would want you to do you would pull in your clutch you would kill your engine and then here you go drifting on by silent why would a horsey person not want you to do this well the reason for that is you have in effect turned the motorcycle into a bicycle a cardinal sin you have turned the bike into a bicycle and cyclists are hated by the horse community disclaimer they're probably not but they're hated by most because cyclists go past at 20 miles an hour thinking that they are quiet and the thing is you're not quiet here i am at 20 ish miles an hour we're going to kill the engine brakes might be grinding against their tire noise also i now have no drive whatsoever i'm just coasting to a complete still when i start my engine lots of noise i'm gonna have to give a little bit of gas to actually be able to go forward even more noise so this is why the horsey community do not like that method they really appreciate motorcyclists doing it the thought but it's much like when a car moves over to the left and you know it's not clear to overtake them for a motorcyclist thanks for the gesture but i'll overtake when it's safe to do so like with the horsey people thanks for the gesture but there are better ways to overtake which we're going to cover next so the next one is you will just go up at about 10 15 miles an hour you would try and keep your throttle as positive as you can you might be going a little slow so you just need to feather feather your clutch a little bit like that if you are but look i'm just going past here 10 15 miles an hour second gear 2000 rpm i just don't want to be up to 4000 rpm just keep it nice quiet easy and slow that's all you got to do that is the best way you can pass a horse to not scare them there is engine noise that they're going to hear as you're coming up to them so the horse is aware that you are now there if i going past this gentleman here i don't want to scare him i'm not going to upset his day i'm just going to go past 15 miles an hour 2000 rpm little thank you to improve upon going past that slow speed is again we will slow down to you know 10 15 miles an hour and then we will pull in our clutch and just coast so you see when the clutch goes in the exhaust goes quieter but i am losing drive so what i want to do is i want to feather my clutch but without any throttle if you can do that you can even leave the bike on tick over so you see here i'm not doing anything the bike is in second gear and it will just tick me over at 10 miles an hour so you can do that if you're slowly going past or just pull your clutch in as you pass the animal give them a little wave and then just pull out a little bit of positive clutch but no revs here because revs here are not what the animal wants so why would you clutch in well listen to this that's just me rolling off the throttle not touching the clutch at all now i'm gonna do exactly the same and i've pulled the clutch in no popping of my exhaust and the very best way the way that got me all the gratitude is if you can and it is safe to do so just pull over kill your engine and let the horses go past now let's just say that this bloke up here is the horse i've got a car coming behind me i'm just going to indicate left here i'm just going to pull in on this spot here driveway could be anything else i'm just going to pull in here i'm just going to kill the engine and it really is that simple i'm just going to sit here wait and then the horse will pass me when it's good and ready the most important thing is when the horse does pass you that you wait a good 10 meters for that horse to go past before you fire your engine up again so it is just that simple if you can pull over and you can kill your engine do that because horse people will love you if you've got places to be people to see then just go past slowly 
when you see the horse do pay attention to how the horse is behaving is it just plopping along minding its own business is it getting skittish pay attention to what the cars are doing if the horse is absolutely cool and cars are going past at about 20 miles an hour then you can go past do better than the car always set a good example for the rest of the motorcyclists if you can and bring the speed down a little bit the two things you have to do to ensure that you go past a horse safely is reduce your speed and reduce your noise it's really that simple so remember if you do encounter a horse don't panic just basically keep your movements smooth just roll off the gas slow your speed down if you see them up in front and pass when it's safe to do so if it is safe to do so your safety always comes first as always thank you so much for watching a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated and catch you on the next video